If you depend on crop dusting for your crops, you can thank a few men that started that service in Georgia. It opened the door to fight the boll weevil and gave flight to what is now a major U.S. airline company. We paid a recent visit to the newly renovated Delta Flight Museum in Atlanta to get more details. Hi, my name is Tiffany Meng. I'm the Director of Operations at the Delta Flight Museum. My job is to make sure that our visitors have a very good experience here at the museum. So I oversee visitor relations, our front desk staff, our facilities uh, and aircraft maintenance, our surplus sales, our volunteers, our development and our marketing. So a little bit of everything here at the museum. In the museum, they will see exhibits devoted to crop dusting, to early passenger service, what passenger service was like in the 40s and the 50s. When a museum visitor comes, they're going to see a handful of people working at the front desk in the simulator, but we really have a staff of about 22 people that work all around, behind the scenes, in the archives, and at the front. We're led by President John Boatwright. Well, and actually it, it goes back into the, the mid-teens when Dr. Code and C. Woolman, who ultimately was our founder of Delta Air Service and Delta Airlines, um, they, they were working for the Louisiana Extension Service and looking for a way to get rid of the boll weevil. So from there grew the interest in crop dusting and how to do it. And, and they, they were very successful in coming up with a formula to do so. And so it started in the Mississippi Delta and they would dust in that area during the, uh, during the summertime here in the U.S and then they would go to Peru in the wintertime. In 1990, a group of retirees got together, Delta retirees, and said, you know, we really should have a museum. So they did research on trying to find one of Delta's first five DC-3s, and they found Ship 41, Delta's first DC-3 to carry passengers, being flown as a cargo plane in San Juan, Puerto Rico. The museum not only collects what you see, but also what you don't see. We have a huge corporate archives that also maintains our museum's nonprofit collection. And in the corporate archives are records, are some of the artifacts that are not on display here at the museum. And it's a really cool facility, but it's not open to the general public. Images that were uh, taken by employees here at the company, as well as collections that we have from Dr. Code, who was an um, entomologist who was with the USDA, um, based originally at the lab in uh, Tallulah, Louisiana. We definitely have uh, records um, and writings and reports that he uh, did and that we have in our collections here. We have early advertisements for Huffdale and Dusters. Um, we have these flyers that um, basically say, come to our crop dusting demonstration. Uh, learn about why you know it's beneficial for you as a farmer to use aerial dusting as opposed to the ground dusting they were doing. It's going to cost you a little bit more, but it's worth it. It's basically the message. For more information about the Delta Flight Museum, visit deltamuseum.org or like us on Facebook. We're Delta Museum or Delta Flight Museum.